Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to stop hearing yourself in voice meter. So it's actually going to be very simple, so I'm going to show you. But first guys, if you want, you can go down on this video in the comment section and click on the first comment that I pinned. This will bring you to my Fiverr and here you can get a YouTube logo and banner or a modern minimalist YouTube logo and banner for your YouTube channel. But now back to the video. Now do keep in mind, it doesn't matter which voice meter you are on. It can be the normal voice meter, like me right here in voice meter banana. And you can also do it for voice meter potato. So it doesn't matter which one you use. It's all going to be the same idea anyway for all three of them. One thing I want to show you before actually going in voice meter itself, make sure you know what your output is right here. So if you click on this little volume right here and you go to select a sound output, make sure that when you're using voice meter, you actually select the right one. So you can do speakers, but also of course you can do the cable input, which is something you have to download and install together with voice meter if you have that one. So you can also do it through your cable input right here or any of the virtual inputs as you can see right here. But that's actually the first thing I want to mention simply. You can also do that down here by right clicking and doing open volume mixer. You can see you have the running apps. And if you want the more advanced one, you can right click on here again and go to sound settings. You can go down here and more sound settings. And here of course is very important if you go into the playback tab here, select the right voice meter input here, set as default and do the apply. And also right here in recording you have to choose the right output here that you want to choose. Same and you click set default, apply and okay. But that's just something I quickly wanted to mention because it's very important is the input and output of voice meter. In case you can't hear yourself and you actually want to, you have to always look out for of course the input and output. But anyway of course right here in voice meter itself the input and output is very important. Now I first want to do my microphone. I advise you to use a WDM in this case right here. So I'm going to go for the Blue Yeti right here, obviously, because I'm using actually a microphone Blue Yeti. As you can see right here, now I can't hear it yet because I don't have a output right here. But basically, as you can see, the microphone connected correctly. And then if I do A1 here, I'm going to use an ME in this case. It's more preferred. You can actually go for the VB cable, obviously, if you want to go through the cable. There's actually also a possibility of hearing yourself if you're using the cable. So this will be the same principle that I'm going to show you. Generally speaking, you actually want to put it for your speakers because you actually also want to hear what goes through voice meter. And that's, and basically, that's basically exactly, exactly where, where your problem, problem will, will begin, begin. Because, because right, right now, now I can actually... actually hear myself, myself. And, and that's, that's of, course of course something I don't want. want. Now of, now, of course, course the solution, solution for that within, within voice meet will be to actually turn off A1. A1. And so right now I actually don't hear myself speak anymore, but I do still hear any other channels that I would have connected. So anything from like with music right here, Discord, the sets, any sounds that come through like games or anything like that. I would still hear that, but I would not hear my own voice anymore. So A1 is very important to turn it off right here if you don't want to hear yourself. And don't confuse the A1 actually with the mute button as well, because if I mute it right here, as you can see, now I can you can still hear me because my actual audio is coming from OBS. And also of course watch out if it's connected, for example, to B1 right here, as you can see, to this channel right here that. Also, this one here isn't muted, same idea right here. People wouldn't be able to hear it. So don't confuse, obviously, mute with the A1 right here. But do just simply keep in mind that if you yourself want to just stop hearing yourself, just unselect A1. And as I said, people will still be able to hear you through the recording. So don't worry about that. Anyways, guys, very simple tutorial here, but very important. It's actually a question that I got asked a lot on my voice meter videos. If you want to check them out, by the way, I did a tutorial on voice meter, voice meter banana, and voice meter potato. I did full beginner tutorials on those. So if you want to check them out, you can go ahead if you actually wonder how to actually set up all of these voice meters from the inputs to the outputs how to actually use it once again just feel free to check them out if you want to anyways guys please if you like would be really nice subscribe to us really nice and we'll see you guys in the next video bye